good morning again. Um, I'm still actually drinking my coffee. I have brushed my hair and re-rolled it, so hopefully it just stays out of my face. I'm gonna be doing uh, the salt working that I was discussing last night. Um, and we'll go over a few of the ingredients. Okay, so dining room table gives you an idea of where we're at. All right, so to start, this is my mortar and pestle. Uh, this is the one that I use for um, for larger batches. This is it's a, just a concrete. What do they call it? Uh, I think they call it some type of muddler. But anyways, it's a concrete mortar and pestle, and it's it's pretty good size. So as you can see. Uh, you can mix up large batches. I use this one for um, for the things that are more difficult to grind, like um, <clears throat> resins and uh, and it powders really well. The smaller one I didn't bring out, so I was going to show it too, but it's not out here. That's the one I use for herbs. But today we're going to start here, and I've already placed my salt in my mortar and pestle and I've already um, ground it out a little bit. So this is a protection salt, uh, what I call my protection salt. I put this all around the outside of my windows, just a tiny bit. So you, you place it outside the outside of your windows, um, your doors and that sort of thing. Um, and we'll go over that as, as time goes on. But because I have so many plants around the outside of my home, I choose not to use standard salt. I don't use table salt around the outside. And that type of salt can, um, over time, damage, damage my plants. Even though I use such a small amount, I don't wanna take any chances. So, I use Epsom salts. Epsom salts by themselves are a wonderful fertilizer. So not only am I uh, protecting the outside of my home, I'm also, as the rain comes in and as this stuff dissolves, um, it's fertilizing my plants. So mortar and pestle, Epsom salts, beautiful little Epsom salts. Okay, this is sand. Now this sand, I got this sand from Utah a couple of years ago, Salt Lake, and they have this cool, sand mixture and I use this specific sand for protection spells, um, salts and, and that sort of thing specifically because it's known, uh, Salt Lake is known for the salt content. So this is wonderful for that. This is the um, sand that is also found in this cauldron. This cauldron is my burning cauldron this is the one that I use. Uh, I don't mix anything in here that will be consumed or placed on the skin. Um, this here specifically is used for incense and um, burning petitions and that sort of thing because it you can't really tell, but it's copper. Um, and I can use this for, uh, it, it handles heat really well and I can use this for if it lights on fire, nothing's gonna happen. There's no damage or danger there. You're gonna wanna have an empty jar to place your uh, product in. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but once you get done, you're gonna wanna put it somewhere. Fennel seeds. These beauties uh, I use so much. I use them in uh, so many different things. Fennel seeds are wonderful for protection. Uh, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, just a tiny amount because of the plants I was telling you about, I'm gonna only use a little bit. Now I use the pink Himalayan salt, one is protection, but two for the color. Um, the pink color uh, is created by, well the pink, the color itself is because it's high in iron, but the pink color for me brings um, a sense of peace and love. So I use pink Himalayan salt when it comes to anything that has to bring in the energy of calm and focus. And from my experience, anytime I want to um, protect myself, I never do it with a sense of fear. 
um, or protect my family. Never do it with a sense of fear or anticipation or anxiety because all that does, <clears throat> all that does is ramp up the situation. What I like to do is protect with a sense of peace and calm. Uh, and if you think about it, let's, we've all been in a situation where we've been faced with adversity at one time or another, whether it's in elementary school, high school, or as an adult. And what better way to throw someone off their game when they're being aggressive with you than to smile peacefully at them and say, I got you, I got you. Kind of throws them off a little. They don't know what to do. They're expecting you to approach them with aggression because they approached you with aggression. But as long as you stand your ground with a mischievous smile, they don't know what to do. So pink Himalayan salt, love the color pink for that. Roses, rose petals. These roses came from my garden. I have a white rose bush out back. Uh, and as the petals fall off, I save them and dry them. I use white roses because of the sense of peace and purity that roses provide. Roses are a wonderful protection herb. If you can, if you think of a rose, um, we've all been stuck by a rose thorn. Personally, they make me feel confident and calm, but um, they're a hidden source of protection because of that funky little thorn that gets you right in the thumb when you're working with them. So I use roses for protection specifically for that. The intention is the beauty of the rose, the white for purity, um, and that thorn that's going to draw blood if you're not paying attention. So white roses. Rue. Now, rue, most people aren't familiar with rue. This rue was grown in my garden. Pretty little plant. Actually, let me see if I can show you another uh you're not gonna be able to see it very well but this rue the leaves well if you look in um the pdfs that i uploaded to the group you'll see what rue looks like i have a bundle of rue hanging just inside let's see this is my front door when you walk in my front door it's just inside the door and i have it hung here um for protection mainly for energetic protection as people come in. There's other things that I do too, we'll go over that. But <clears throat> Rue is wonderful for providing that, that uh, frequency, that sound that you want that of course we can't hear, but it's a vibration of protection. And uh, Rue is also one of the patron plants that I work with consistently. So here, aside from what we're gonna be putting in our protection salt, this is a carrot that I grew in my garden, and it was the oddest looking carrot. It's got several roots on it. I grew this, I guess it's been about two years now. This little guy is so cute. But I couldn't bring myself to chop him up simply because it looks, well, to me it looks like two people embracing. And to me that's a source of uh, love and connection. So, I keep this whenever I'm doing any type of protection work. I'll keep this with me just as a reminder of why I'm doing the protection. It's for love and connection. My husband and I live in this home. We no longer have uh, my son living with us and my mother moved out and found her own place. So it's just my husband and I now. Zach, I say husband. Anyways, you guys know who I'm talking about. But this, uh, because the root of a carrot grows underground. It's the hidden element. To me, it's uh, it's underneath, it's in the dark, it's in the earth, it's, uh, it's the hidden aspect. So the hidden aspect of why I'm protecting my home is to protect the source of comfort and connection and love of my family. So this here keeps my intention focused. Every working I ever do, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's baneful. I don't care if it's positive. I always have the owl with me. This was a gift from my mom a few years back. Uh, my other owl fell um, and broke, so I ended up with a new one. This little guy uh, is with me in every working that I do. Oh, and I'm going to have to take him off anyways. 
Um, the owl is uh, the hidden element for me and one of the animals that I work with daily. All right. In any form of protection, I know this might be gross to some of you, um, but in any form of protection, I have my seagull with me. The seagull, a lot of you are gonna be like, seagull, what the hell, why? If you've ever been to the beach, um, you've been having a picnic or trying to enjoy yourselves and you have food around, basically like a flock of them coming in and trying to get your food. Um, they come in in droves and there's hundreds of them, at least from my experience when I used to live in um, California, I spent a lot of time in Santa Cruz. These guys would come in in droves and you could not fight them off. There'd be like 50 of them and they'd all come in and it's almost like they're working in sync and picking off your food. Um, I use this specifically for protection because that's the element that I'm trying to bring in. As negativity approaches whatever I'm trying to protect, I want that seagull energy where it's just getting picked off one after another. There is no way they can the, the negative energy can stick around because of it. Oh, and Lucy, yeah, there she is. Hi, Lucifer. She's gotta be involved in everything I do. Okay, last thing that's gonna be going into this mix is our charred wood from a ritual fire. So I have a fire pit in the back and I've saved pieces of charred wood, um, apple wood, basically. It's, it's from the apple tree. That was the tree itself elements of the tree itself were given to me by my mother-in-law, Nancy, several years ago when we first moved here. Uh, the tree was grown on Zach's grandmother's property. So when they trim the tree, she'd bring me the elements of that. So apple, apple's another wonderful um, source of love, embodies um, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit. So it's, it's a complete protection, kind of like a pentacle that I wear around my neck. The apple, if you were to take an apple and cut it in half longwise, the seeds form a pentagram on the inside of the apple. So that's what it means to me. And like any magical working, it's your intent that goes into it. Now there's energetic elements to each of these products that I'm putting in here. Uh, they all vibrate at a specific frequency and that's the energy that I'm bringing in. However, keep in mind these things individually by themselves vibrate by themselves. They have one frequency, they continuously put that frequency out. Now until you program it, kind of like um, kind of like your computer I guess, and, and until you program these things and you program them to work together as a team, they're just individuals. So we're gonna walk through that process as well. But this, we're gonna start here. We're gonna start with the apple wood, okay? Place that in there, grind it down. Grinds down nicely. All right, nice and ground. Next, we're gonna add our fennel seeds. Now, the fennel, we don't need a lot, just a few. So I'm gonna add, I don't know, about that much. What is that? A tiny palm. Now, another thing to remember too is this, we're not cooking. This isn't going in our body. So exact measurements aren't necessary. Um, so much of energetic work is done through intention and what feels right, uh, what resonates with your, oh, I can smell the fennel. Oh, what resonates with your energy and um, when it feels like it's done, okay? So you start with a product, you add what you feel is necessary. Uh, more doesn't always mean better, okay? So small amounts, fennel seeds are super, super potent. You don't need a lot. Okay, next we have roses. Yes, I had to turn the thing around, so wasn't working out. 
So with the roses, you only need a few, you don't need much. So I'm gonna pull out, I don't know, about this many. I'd say there's probably seven rose petals here. And with these, what I'm gonna do is tear them up first. While I'm tearing them up, I'm visualizing what it is that I need from them. And that is stealthy protection. I wanna use their purity, the white color to hold the love in the house to allow love through from the outside. But remembering those thorns, those thorns are what's gonna protect from the outside. All right, while I'm grinding these up, now we have fennel, white rose petals, Epsom salt, and that apple wood together to work together for protection. Protection of my home, protection of my family. My intention is focused on the security of the inside of my home, the love that my husband and I share we protect each other. We love each other. Our home is a source of security, comfort, warmth, and constancy. All right. Now, a lot of practitioners will enchant their mix after each element. I do that sometimes, but that's not needed, at least in this mix, that's not needed for me um, today. So I have done it in the past, but not today. Next we have rue. And we only need, God, it smells good. Oh. We only need about this much rue. So whatever that is. Now, Rue's got some woody stems, woody, woody stems on it. So I'm going to crush in my hands <clears throat> and then probably pull the majority of the stems out because they're not gonna wanna crush together. But while I'm doing that, I'm enchanting the Rue for its purpose. I'm letting it know what I need from it. So I need its, its source of protection it's connection to my ancestral spirits. Um, so I'm asking those ancestral spirits for their protection, charming the rue, letting it know it's gonna be working together with the salt and the apple wood and the roses and the fennel seeds. We're gonna pull it all together as a suit of armor for my home. And the aromatics smell fantastic, super potent, which adds to this working. Those smells are wonderful. Once again, grinding and bringing in protection. Love, security, strength, those powerful, powerful emotions on this planet is one of love. I'm putting that sense of energy, love, and protection that I have for my husband and my kids into this mix here. All right, next. <clears throat> next, we have a tiny amount so it doesn't hurt my plants, of pink Himalayan salt. Salt doesn't need any charging. 
doesn't need any focus. It does what it does. But what I'm doing is giving thanks for the ability to use this salt. The protection that it provides. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like all blended together. Look how beautiful that is. Ready, ready to go. Our suit of armor for our home. And this mix is no longer, now that it's all blended and I've chatted with each and every individual piece, this mix is no longer just rue, rose, charred applewood, pink Himalayan salt, fennel, and the sand, which I'm gonna add in a moment, uh, the sand element from Salt Lake. This is now a new individual because we've blended all of these things together. All of the energies have now blended together and they've created a new entity, a new individual. And this individual is a suit of armor. All of these individuals are working together to create a suit of armor for my home. Uh, and it's ironclad, it's, it's amazing. And you can just feel, well, you can feel the energy coming off of that. So next, I've piled up my mix. I'm now going to add the sand from Salt Lake, which is the earth. It's gonna bind it all together. It's the earth element, salt, protection. Okay. All of these individual items now have become a team. They've become a cohesive unit for protection around my home. Now that my enchanting is done, you add it to the jar. Okay, so now we've got it all jarred up. Look how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so what I'm going to do now that it's all blended and I've had a chat with it, this new individual here knows what its job is going to be. I'm going to, um, Enchant or charm or um, whatever it is that you would like to call it. It's more of a prayer for me. So I'll pray over it. Let it know. Um, basically send it off to do its thing. Uh, and you can write your own. You can say whatever you would like. However you'd like to say it. Um, but I, I have this one that I use <clears throat> for finalizing these sorts of things. And it goes like this. Blessed be our home with peace and tranquility, good health and love, wisdom of heart and forgiveness. Blessed be its dwelling with joy and plenty of peace upon the land. Now I'll take this jar and I'll put a birthday candle on top and I'll let that birthday candle burn all the way down as it sits on my altar and then it'll be ready to use. So I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, just you know, let me know. Put the questions in there or send me a video or post a video. Um, however you uh, feel more comfortable and uh, we'll move forward. When it comes time to place this, I'm gonna try and take you guys outside and show you how I do that as well. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps and uh, have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.